Hey everyone, today I'm going to be walking you through how I install some new RAM for my Dell XPS 8300. I've had this computer since 2011 and it's been running pretty slow so it's definitely time to do an upgrade. So here's the back side of the tower. I have everything completely unplugged and I'll be removing the screw right here so that I can slide off the side panel and access the inside. Once I have the screw removed, I'll just set that off to the side so I don't lose track of it. Then I'll give that side panel a little tug and it should slide right out. So checking out the inside, you can see to the right of the fan here, there's the four sticks of old RAM. And my computer is very dirty, covered with a lot of dust. So next step, I'm going to take this outside and clean it off as best I can. Got my can of compressed air, so let's move this outside. So after using the compressed air, everything is still pretty dusty, so I'm going to bring this back inside and try and clean it off a little more using some q-tips and tissues, and I'll um, make sure to not touch or break anything, especially the circuit boards, uh, not like that, and get it clean as best I can. So once everything is all cleaned, I'm ready to remove the old RAM. And you'll see on either side of the RAM, there's these little black and white tabs. And all you have to do is push them down and you'll hear a little click. And then once you hear that little click, you'll be able to pull the RAM out. So here's a closer look at those black and white tabs that are holding the RAM in place. You can see I've already pushed that black one at the left all the way down and here I'm pushing at this white tab and once I hear a little click like that you can see that's no longer holding the RAM in place and you can do that on both sides and then you'll be able to pull the RAM out. And here is the old RAM. So I started out with four sticks of two gig RAM, so a total of eight, and I'll be upgrading to 32 gigs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but I'll probably save it for some kind of craft project. And this is what I'll be installing. I have four sticks of 8 gig DDR3 RAM and I'll have the full details and link in the description below. So you can see the RAM has a kind of longer end and a shorter end. You want to make sure when installing the RAM into the slot that the shorter end is facing down towards the bottom of the tower so you can push it into the slot all the way. Once you have your RAM in the slot, make sure to push it down all the way so that you'll be able to click the little tabs at either end back into place.
And here's all the RAM, fully installed, with all the tabs clicked in. I realized that I didn't take the front panel off the tower, and there's a ton of dust in there, so I'm going to take this back outside to use the compressed air on it and clean it out some more, and then I'll be ready to boot up my computer and double check that everything installed correctly. Now that everything is clean, I'm going to snap this front panel back on and then slide the side panel back into place. Don't forget to install that screw for the side panel. Once I've powered up my computer, I'm going to go into the control panel and then system and security and then click on view amount of RAM. And there under installed RAM, I can see that it now says 32 gigs and it was 8 gigs before, so the install was successful. I hope you guys found this helpful and thanks for watching.